Welcome to more Lord of the Rings Online. This is Salty Curve's complete walkthrough of Lotro. Uh, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, I did quite a bit of uh, deed work uh, last time and ticked off some of our deeds in Eriador. Um, in Arid Luin. So I completed several of these uh, deeds and increased our virtues. So we can take a little look at those. So um, the virtues I have slotted again are determination, wit, and compassion. Uh, compassion is for some of our mitigations. Um, eventually we'll probably uh, slot charity as well to get some resistance. Um, once we hit level 17, we're at level 13. I had put in our uh, disabler, our XP disabler, so I would be earning XP on all those deeds. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out now. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. Please come off. Okay. I don't know why that was so much trouble to take off. Okay, so uh, we'll be earning XP again. Uh, we're almost ready to hit level 14. The next quest we complete, maybe even the next enemy we kill might tick us over the top. Um, so yeah, so these are our virtues that we are running with currently. Um, I'm thrown back in the determination to level as we go here for a bit. Uh, I also picked up Tolerance, that will also help with some mitigations and resistance. Uh, innocence will help with mitigation and resistance. And Fidelity, which will help with mitigations and give us a bit more morale. So if we're confronting difficult situations, we can swap out our virtues to help us out here a little bit. Currently these two are for hitting harder, Wit and Determination and compassion is to help a little bit with the mitigations uh, that we're having here now. Okay, so you can see we garnered quite a few items in our, our running around doing our, uh, during our deeds. So let's go ahead and sell. Um, I'm gonna move this down here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and sell. How may I be of service to you? We'll keep those blueberry muffins. Um, you can turn these in for uh, for tasks, which help with the rep acceleration. We're not too worried about that at this point in the game. Uh, right now, we're just worried about uh, getting some getting some silver on our tune. Like I said earlier, um, I want to try to uh, stick to as much of the. Um, in-game uh, money during the quest as I can. Uh, I could sell, uh, send myself a whole bunch of money from my other ca uh, characters, but um, I want this to be pretty much a pure vanilla run through. So until we run into financial difficulties that are insurmountable. I also got this um, the six hour XP booster. Um, so we might as well go ahead and sell it. Get that out of our, out of our bag. Uh, so we'll get 10% more XP and item XP from monster kills. Okay. We also have, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize that. I, we also have our Hobbit presents for the day. So let's go ahead and see what we get. For that, little lottery thing here. And we get some Dale Man crams. That's good for us for food. Um, Rug Doctor here seems to be running um, either with a lot of people or a lot of accounts um, that are going on here. They're questing through in a big giant group, looks like. Uh, the Dale Man crams are food items. So we will slot those as well. Let's see, let's put those. Oh, I locked my bars. Um, well, let's put those at the bottom here. Turn that off because we don't have those anymore. 
Well, I hope we're not running around with these guys too much. Looks like there's more than one. Alright, so let's put our put our quests back on here. Destination Freeland, we'll get to when we get there. Vow of Vengeance. Let's throw that one on. Take a look at our map, see where we need to go. Up in the upper right, up here. Elf Sword is down in Thrasiel's cottage. Oh, uh, yeah, we have to go down there and rescue Avrathal, or try to find Avrathal now that Vow of Vengeance is up there. We might as well go do Vow of Vengeance because it's closest. So we'll set this as a guy's focus. So we had approached. I also put the um, skill cue. Yeah, there's our level, just as promised. Let's see if we got a skill points. We did not. What level was it? Okay, it's every other, I believe, uh, where we will be getting skill points. Okay, so we'll set this to... Oh, it is set. Get our movement buffs. John John's the wary is doing the same quest we're doing. Looks like they're all are. Which is kind of a bummer. Um, what do we need to do? We need to defeat Skeefy Black Hand. I'm guessing he's quite a ways in here. Crit it off my horse. Pack. All right, we're getting ahead of ourselves on the prologue, so let's see. Uh, this is the lowest level quest. He's in Gondaman. Where are we in relation to Gondaman? We're not too far. Let's go and turn that one in. See if he gives us another one. Askel. Yeah, so this uh, little hourglass here is the skill queue. It indicates which one's up next. So you can kind of follow along and see which skills I'm hitting as I'm using my keypad. You can't really see what I'm hitting over here because I'm not using the mouse and the cursor for that. Ha, so you've done my will and slain the villain who killed my brother. You have done well, Cursalian. But it is strange. I feel no pleasure at this news. The dour hands will choose a new captain and nothing will change. There must be more that we can do something that will hurt them. All right, so Milok. Fate improvement, so we'll swap out Come that. And stay a moment. Come and stay a moment. Okay, so which one are we swapping here? We're swapping that one. Up oh, here are the these the people we were following just now. 
Though we Longbeards were able to throw the Dower Hands out of most of our steadings after they revealed their true evil two years ago, they are yet still too strong for us to fight them in the field. The last major Dower Hand holding in Arid Luin is the river port of Keledul. See, it's good that we came back here, because that's where we're going here pretty soon. It is at the Keledul where much of their remaining strength is concentrated, and it is at Keledul where they stockpile their stolen wealth. The treasure they robbed from us during the long years of their tyranny in Thorin's Hall. You have proven yourself to be a capable warrior and a true friend. If you can raid Keladul and recover the stolen treasure, not only will you be striking a blow for Durin's folk, you will be dealing a sharp blow in my brother's name as well. Okay, so we can get some of this stuff. Nope, not an upgrade. That is quite a big upgrade. As is that. We'll probably go with the uh, skirmisher of Keldil, Keladul, once we have completed that. Okay, so we collect treasure boxes in the plundered port. I bet all those people are going there, where we're going. So let's do, let's do um, one of these other ones. Elf sword is near to us, so let's go do the elf sword. So if we do standing stone and elf sword, by that time those other guys should be done with Keladul, so we will be able to go in and get all the boxes that we need. Will you help me? And some other quests for us to do as well. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Uh, this quest is unnecessary, so we're going to decline it. Um, basically, it leads you on a tour. So, let's see. There is a way now you help me? to filter this quest. So, it will not show up in this character anymore. And we return. Ooh, Yahoo's running all over. Um, I shouldn't say Yahoo's. They're just trying to play the game, just like I am in a nice group. Should be happy the game is still up and running with people. But it is nice to be able to complete quests, solo quests, uh, without another group coming and uh, plundering all of the loot that you need to pick up. Those boxes might not... Uh, you know, once it's looted, it disappears for a while, and then it will respawn out after a few moments. Uh, sometimes longer than a few moments. So let's head to uh, Lucille's cottage here. to chew up some time while we were waiting for the other group to get through Kiladol. Um, so this is where we want to go now. I think that's the standing stone. So let us select that as our focus. Mount up and head north. So I'm hoping to, uh, to be able to get our prologue finished up here during this episode. We'll see how it goes after we're completed with the standing stone quest we'll head over to Keladol and just by hook or by crook um, run through there should take us a few minutes a little snow in the weather today it looks like Yeah. 
shiny in there. And get our, our rotation. Well, we did acquire this new skill. Um, this is purging poison. It actually will purge all uh, all things that we get. And it is in the right spot. Gives us a little bit of a resistance for a few seconds. Might as well kill all these guys. Oops. Master emerges. So here we got a minor disease. We can purge that off with our purge poison. It's quite a long animation on the hunter. Um, other characters. Uh, it more easily. So we got another one there. Let's kill him off here first. Okay, we defeated him. Bring the elf stone to Glamir. Glamir is where. Oh, he's down there. In the, the little elf ruins where we started our adventure today. Got some points. And got a new deed. Complete as the win. So these you collect. Uh, these tick off as you use the skills. Um, it, you'll notice it says this deed can be. I should probably run away a little bit before someone attacks me. Uh, this deed can be incremented. Um, it, you can only do so many times a day uh, with it. Um, and of course, you can accelerate it from the Lotro store if you wish. There's no need to do that. We're going to be doing all of these enough. So complete sturdy traps. You'll see that's uh, on here somewhere. See, perhaps we have to use a trap for the first time to get that one to, to tick off. So we completed this one. Greetings to you. Well done. These foolish dwarves might have stumbled across something they could not defeat had you not intervened before the evil had gathered its strength. Those cursed lands will still be dark and haunted, but no one, but one hopes they will no longer pose an imminent threat. Okay, so we'll get this hat. See how terrible it looks? I have a bad feeling about this hat. Yes, this hat is awful. So it's a good thing we are hiding our headwear. Because fashion is important as we know. I did not slot the boots. So now our boots are on. Okay, so I think all we have left at this point is is the uh Kala dual quest. So let's mount up and head down to the port. I gotta remember to try to set a trap, see if that'll activate the sturdy trap. D 
Steely Bob. down the side of this mountain. There's Sigurdor. He's gonna have some quests for us as well. Greetings, traveler! Yep, you should have stayed home. Welcome! You've come at a most fortuitous time. We will be defeating those dwarves. Svanner, at your service, rescue and your Afrifal. families. If you want to get inside Keludul, I am the dwarf you need. The dour hands have let my fine harbor sink into filth and disrepair. Any foe of theirs is a friend of mine. A ship came out of the north that has been sitting at anchor for a few days. From what I can gather, she's called the I the Irestone, and her captain is a particularly unpleasant-looking dour hand. If he's planning on taking this elf prince back north on this ship, you'll need to hurry. I overheard the guards at the gate saying the ship wouldn't be long in port. During the day, you will be too visible, but at night, you will not. You will, but at night, you need not be a burglar to sneak into Keldul undetected. You'll want to stay clear of the night watch, or else they'll raise the alarm. Okay, so we're gonna have to talk to him to get in there. I don't know if plundering the port we'll be able to do while we go in, but we will we will try just to see what happens. Um, yeah, okay, so let's let's travel. Avorthal had been moved from the Dowerhand in nice to a ship preparing to depart for an unknown port in the north. His rescue is paramount to maintaining peace in Eregluin. Take some agility food. If we'll pop a candle. It's our last candle, so let's go ahead and drag that off our bar. Candles are gone. I think I can just kill these guys. Sneaky. We'll find out here if it fails. I'm gonna get back to my rotation. I've been playing my other characters, and so I have a different muscle memory on the rotation. Okay. All right. No map of this area, so we'll have to figure it out as we go. It's the boxes that we gotta make sure that we get. Okay. Let my food 
Jen hit me here. Oh my gosh, it just popped out of nowhere. Deed of um, it's not showing us. Not showing us what we got. Let's see, I'm probably on the wrong thing. So we got some points. There it was. No to Thorns Hall. That was a rep deed. Give me friend of Thorns Hall is next. So here's a reputation uh, panel that will show us how we are working our way up in terms of getting a reputation for each of these um, both areas and groups and we'll want to um, we'll want to level those as we go uh, basically reputation gets you uh, gets you the ability to barter for items or purchase items we'll need rep to get our travel locations for a hunter so um, that's definitely something we want to keep an eye on and you get that basically through doing deeds doing quests and now we have found Averthal we have been looking all over for this guy and here he is praise Elbereth one who might be of help you are here to free me, Skorgrim Daurand has raised a goblin army in the cleft of Rath Tereg, and unless we stop him, he will sweep through all the free lands. There is no time to waste, my friend. We need to defeat the captain and his crew if we are to escape from Keladul with our lives and bring word of the danger which grows stronger within Rath Tereg. The captain will soon return quickly and tie my hands. We need to escape from here. Okay. Alright. Right on time. They have shown up. Someone's shooting. Comes the allies, we got a wound on. So we just burn him down real fast here. of dealing with crowds. Oh, the victory is ours. The shadow has risen. We must hurry, Cresselian. Skorgrim has assembled an army of goblins within Wrath Tereg. And though my rescue should end the threat of war between dwarves and elves, I fear that the goblin army will not long remain within that narrow pass. Let us bring this warning out of Keldul into the light of morning, and may our chances for peace also shine bright. Okay. May Govanen. So we'll travel out. We ended up back here of all places. Depending, I might just cancel that that quest. What like can I do for you? It's not like XP is going to be an issue. Uh, Averthal is safe, and the promise of peace is much closer than it was. But Ered Luin is not free of the threat of war just yet, Crusalian. We must defeat Skolkrim Daurahand and end his menace, and we must do this quickly before he can put the second stage of his plan into motion. Could I speak with you a moment? I'm going to go ahead and throw in the experience disabler again. Uh, we're noticing that all of these book quests are above our level, so we want to make sure that we, we don't over-level. Okay, I will send word to Matthew Stout Stouthand and Gaelthin in Gondaman of Averthal's safe return and to warn their masters, the free peoples of Ered Luin must unite if they are to drive Skorgrim and his goblin allies from this land. While Lord Dwalin and Master Dorogur assemble their forces, I, le I have an urge urgent task for you, Kersalian. The goblins have mustered in Wrath Tereg, and if we are to have any hope of reaching Skorgrim, we must 
within their ranks. Journey to the outskirts of Rath Tereg in the valley south of Gondamin and speak with the dwarf there, Ingolfer. He will have more instructions for you. Aid him and Dwalin, and Dorangur may have a greater chance for victory. So we're going to accept that quest. Um, did we get anything to put on? I don't think so. Um, and this is probably a good spot to end this episode. Uh, we finally found Averthal and have rescued him. So we'll continue our adventures next time as Salty Kerr simply walks into Mordor on this complete playthrough of Lord of the Rings Online. Thanks for tuning in.